Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on manage your site. If you're the owner of a Google site, you have access to a lot of tools in the back end of your Google site. Let's take a look at that. Under more, you will find an item listed manage site. In the manage site, you'll find a lot of tools to customize and to edit your site. Let's go through these briefly in a short tour. There are other videos that will take a look at these in greater detail later on. Notice it immediately comes up to the general category. Let's look at that real quick. Here's where you can change your site name and you can also eliminate that if you will. So let's just scroll down. There's a couple of the things. You can change the landing page, uh, the home page of which people hit. And you can also see the amount of storage that you have left if you're in a, a private account. This will not show up in a domain account. Here are some three very interesting buttons that you will find. Uh, copy this site, publish as a template, or delete the site. These are often used and they are spotted here in the general category. We can also configure our search of our site and some statistics if you're interested in doing that. And there's a few more little geeky things here that you'll find. The mobile one I find interesting is I always check that now that more and more mobile users are using sites. Let's jump up to the top of this list and go through these briefly. Recent site activity will tell you who did what and when, which is pretty nice, particularly if you are sharing a site with someone else. Clicking on pages. This will list all the pages that you have been working on on your site and you can get to them very quickly by looking at either the tree view up here in the corner or a list view of your pages and just change the way that it looks. Let's go back to the tree view as well. So if you are working on a page and not posted on your site, you can go back and find that page here and work with it. Attachments. This will tell you all the attachments that you have listed on your site in case you have to remove any. Page templates. This is where you'll find the basic page templates that you choose every time you create a new page, plus any specialized template page templates that you have created. We have a place for some Apple scripts. Haven't been messing with that quite yet, so we'll just move on to deleted items. And anytime that you delete a page or delete something, you have an opportunity of recovering it for a short time. It will be listed here. Here's our general category once again. Here's our sharing and permissions. We can also get to this by clicking on the blue button. You can see who has access to this particular site. More detail on that a little later on. We can click on AdSense. This is where you can actually subscribe to AdSense and put ads on your website. If this is a classroom website or a school website, we recommend that this not be used. But it's there and we now know about it. We do have a web address where you can actually customize the web address that you have for this particular site. And last but not least, we have themes, colors, and fonts. And this is where you can really get into tweaking your site. Uh, they've recently combined this. So up at the top, now I can select the type of theme that I want by clicking on the theme listing. And I have a lot of different themes that I can use for that. And I can select that and notice that once I do select a different theme, it will show up down below here on the bottom part. I can also get into tweaking individual parts of the site by changing its text, its colors, and so on. So that's just a, a quick look at Manage Site. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.